Well, hello there. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a super easy warm-up routine for the quads and hamstrings. I'm starting off in a low lunge for about 15 seconds. You can place your hand on your knee or use blocks, a towel, or even a bag under your palms for more support. From here, we're going to lean back into a hamstring stretch and hold for a few seconds. Then we'll begin alternating from lunge to ham stretch to warm us up. Now we'll switch to the other side and do the same exact thing. All right, we're jumping ahead because that last part is pretty repetitive. We're going straight into quad flexes. Literally, you're just flexing your quads here. And what's the point of this, you may ask? Good question. For me, it warms up my knees and quads it pumps blood into your muscles, it creates a stronger mind-muscle connection, and it also helps prevent injury by warming up the joints. So yeah, you just flex your quad and stare at it. And now we're gonna flex the other quad and stare at it. Now we're magically on the ground, and we're doing malasana. That's what it's called in yoga. It's basically just a hip opening stretch. And to intensify this one, you can use your elbows to push your knees out further if your flexibility allows it, but it doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is that you feel a stretch. This movement is really helpful before any glute and hamstring dominant exercises, since we're in a position that helps us open space in our lumbar spine. Now, from Malasana, place your palms on the ground and slide one leg out into a side lunge stretch. Once you're stable in this position, we're going to start alternating from left to right. This movement is great for increasing flexibility and range of motion. It's good for any exercises where you gotta bend down and pick something up, loosens up stiff hamstrings, Plus, it helps you work on your Spider-Man pose for increased grace and lethal poise. And you can never go wrong by doing push-ups as a warm-up. If you can't do regular push-ups, you can do girl push-ups or incline push-ups. Incline are great for building strength over time because you're lifting less of your body weight during the movement. The more decline you go, the harder it gets. Once again, kicking it back to basics with your classic squat. Amazing exercise to warm up the lower body and elevate the heart rate, plus lube up the joints. For warming up, I'll usually do three sets of 15 to 20. The exercise your high school coach made you do at 6 a.m. nine days a week to only win two games a year? You know what I'm talking about. Leg swings! Great for lubing the crusty joints and dusting out the cobwebs. I find that these help improve my mobility and release tightness in my hips and glutes. And you know what? There's really no set amount of time or reps or number of kicks that I count to. I just keep swinging my leg until it feels warm, it feels lubed, it feels prepped and ready to go. Since our legs are getting nice and warm like a sunny summer's day, we're going straight into standing hip openers. So, number one, you stand. 
Bring your knee up toward your chest and turn your leg out so it's opening the hips. Kind of falls into the same class with leg swings because it's opening your hips and glutes. Finally, we got walking lunges. Great for balance, coordination, unilateral leg strengthening, also improved endurance, cause when you do these with weight added, it skyrockets your heart rate literally out of this world, it's insane. So I'll be walking back and forth on this turf three to four times. 